Hi fam! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for always tuning in. Thank you so much. And if you are new here on this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you. I really appreciate you all. As you can see, it's going to be a sit-down video where I want to encourage women out there, encourage mothers. I want to talk about mothers who praise. What do we understand by mothers who praise? As we all know in the Bible, in the book of um, 1 Samuel, about the story, 1 Samuel chapter 1, and you read downward, we all know the story of Anna, how she prayed to God, how she was persistent, how she kept on pressing, 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 till God answered her prayer. We should, we should be like Anna. And I'm talking to mothers out there. Of course, daddies also, daddy should also pray for our children. But I want to address we mothers. We should be a prayerful mother. Because the world has a lot to offer these children. They go out every day, they go to school, they meet with all sorts of people, they meet with different people. That is the more reason we should pray for our children. And again, we should also put the word of God in these children. It is very necessary. It is very necessary. You see some people, they are out there just to corrupt children, to initiate them in all sorts of things, to initiate them in homosexuality, to initiate them in times of drug addicts, in times of drinking, clubbing everywhere. It is very necessary to put the word of God in our children. I'm begging all mothers, all women out there, I'm begging, if you are not, if you've not been doing it, please, we should aim to be a praying mother, a praying woman. Even though you are waiting on the Lord, you are expecting, you are a mother to be, also pray, pray in advance, pray. Speak to your womb, that this womb of mine will carry children. And it shall surely come to pass. Please, we should pray for our children. I mean, recently I was coming back from shopping. I met a lady. I used to know her back then. So I have not seen her for a while. I met her recently. So while we were chatting, already I could see she was looking so stressed out. You could see stress written all over her. Then she now opened up to me. She now told me she's been going through a lot with, with her children, especially one of them. Then I told her, have you, have you taken this to God? It is very important. It doesn't matter what that situation is. We should bring it to God. Prayer works. God still answers prayers. During the time of Anna, those days in the Bible, they normally go to the synagogue to meet God. That was their belief that God was in synagogue then. But this time around, thank God for Christ. Thank God for Christ, that God is everywhere with us. It is very easy for us to close our doors and go to our God. Go to the throne room of grace to seek mercy. So as I was saying about the woman, then I told her, take the matter to God. Of course she's a Christian. Of course she's a Christian. She said she's tired. She's been praying. She's fed up. She wants to give up. Then I said, don't give up on your child. Don't let Satan have his way on this child. The children, they were all born in the church. Of course, it doesn't mean if you are a Christian, challenges will not come. It doesn't mean that. No. Of course, when, when you are a Christian, that is when you have more challenges on your way. That's why we should not stop in praying. So I told the woman, don't stop. Don't give up on your child. Don't give up on this child. Keep on praying. Keep on pressing on. Just like Anna in the Bible, she didn't give up. So we shouldn't give up on our children. 
At the end of the day, she thanked me. She said, thank you that she will continue. She will not give up. She will keep on praying. Then I said, that is the spirit. Because we don't walk. We walk by faith and not by sight. Please, mothers, we should continue praying for our children. And I also want to plead to mothers, to women out there. We should learn to fast for our children. It is very important. And we should also be that, that mother that wakes up in the night to intercede on behalf of our children. We should pray. I know what I'm talking about. We shouldn't wait till the issues of life wave us off before we start seeking the face of God. We should do it now. I remember when I was going through, there was a storm in my life. I was going through so much in my life. I kept on reminding God. I thank God through it all. He saw us through. That will be another story of, of in another video. I'm going to talk about what we went through and all that. But thank God we came out stronger. I must tell you, I was almost pieces. But I didn't give up. I didn't give up. Thank God for God. Thank God for Holy Spirit. I didn't give up. Sometimes I feel like giving up. But thank God I kept on pressing. I kept on pressing. I kept on pressing. Till we saw results. My dear mothers out there. God still hears prayers. He still hears prayers. He said come to me. All ye that labor. I will give you rest. The only place we can find rest is in Jesus. Commit your children in the hands of our maker. Make sure you teach them the word of God. Let it be in them. Because it is very, 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 very necessary. The Bible says, train up a child in the way of the Lord. So that when he or she grows up, he or she will not depart from it. I tell you, when you put in the word of God in your child, even though it looks like that child is going astray, or it's very obvious that the child is gone astray. I tell you, don't stop praying. Keep on praying. Be persistent with your prayers. One day, I repeat, one day, grace will bring that child back home. It will bring that child back to his maker or to her maker. Grace will surely find that child and bring the child back to God. So when you invest the word of God in our children, it's not a waste of time. It has so much benefit. Please, mothers, I'm pleading. We should learn to pray for our children. And we should also learn to, to confess good things. What you want your child to be. Keep on confessing it. Keep on saying it. And don't stop talking it. Till it comes to happen. Till it comes to pass. I remember what, when growing up, I remember one of our neighbor those days back home. Each time the, the each time her children, each time they are, they do something naughty. Instead of her to, of course, she used to be angry. You know, like some parents, they would say they would be using negative words on that child. But this woman, she 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 always say, oh, you are omo 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 lori re omo toma shori re, which means you are a, you are a good child, a child of destiny. She, you know, instead of her, she's scolding the child. But in terms of scolding the child, she was praying for the child. You know, I was a little girl. I, I would be wondering. I was ah, but why this guy, this child just did something naughty? Instead of you to scold the child and to shout and to do this, instead she will be blessing the child. I learned a big lesson from that woman. We shouldn't call our children names. We should learn to bless our children. We should learn to bless them. Of course, there are some children, of course, some children are not really easy, but we should just use prayer to change everything. It is very important. We shouldn't give up. We shouldn't give up on any of our children. 
I don't know what some of you are going through when it comes to your child or when it comes to your children. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep on praying. Keep on seeking the face of God. Tell God the way it is. Before it happened, he saw it already. During my time, I was wondering, but God, you can see all this. Why can't you take me out of this situation? There are some times I had to ask questions. I had to ask God questions. It is hard. It is difficult. I know. Sometimes the more you are praying, it will look as if the, the, it will look as if the problem is increasing. But God knows what He's doing. To us, we always think God always comes late. No, He's always on time. Don't stop praying for that child. Don't stop praying for that child. Keep pressing on till you see results. And with the help of the Holy Ghost, God will help us. I just want to encourage somebody. I don't know who I'm talking to this, this day. I don't know. But I just want to encourage somebody. We should lean on God. We shouldn't stop praying for our children. We should also, another thing, we should also learn to lay hands on our children and bless them. Say things you want that child to be. Tell that child, it is well with you, my child. It is well with you. And when the word of God is in that child, it is also very important. Because there is a saying in, in my country where I'm from, Nigeria, of course. They used to say, if a child turns out well, the child is daddy's child. But if it's the other way round, the child is mommy's child. So that is why mothers, we should sit up. We should sit up. And don't stop praying for our children. It is very, very important. It is very important. We should learn to bless them always. Of course, parenting is very, it's, it's very, very difficult. It's a hard, hard work. Hard work to be a parent. It's hard work. That's why we need to pray more. Please, mothers. It is well. We pray for grace. Grace to move on. Grace. Grace. In all we do, grace. The way I live my life, I could pray for anything and everything. I pray for everything and anything. All this, my children, they, 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 they can see it. Just recently, my little girl carries, she fell and hurt herself. Then she, I heard her crying. I think I was busy. Then I heard her crying. Then Jesse went to him and to her. That's the brother. Jesse went to pick Caris up and said, Caris, it's okay. Sorry, sorry. You know, then the next thing I heard Jesse praying for her knee. Jesse said, you are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed. Your boo-boo is gone. Then later I saw Caris walking down to me. She said, mommy, my boo-boo is gone. Then I said, oh, really? I said, oh, okay, sorry. She said, Jesse prayed for me. Isn't it amazing? Our children watch us. They watch what we do. By the way, please, mothers, please, please, we should learn to pray for our children, pray for our husbands, pray for ourselves. And by the special grace of God, we shall eat the fruit of our labor and be satisfied. We will not die before our time. Nobody will take our place. Nobody will take your place. Nobody will take my place. You will dance your dance. I will dance my dance. We will not labor in vain. That is why we should also pray to eat the fruit of our labor and be satisfied. When these children are doing their graduation, we will be the one to dance. Nobody will take our place. During their marriage time, we will be the one to dance our dance. Nobody will take our place. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Please. 
Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much. I just felt I should do this. I was led to do it. Please, any mother that is going through any challenges out there, any mother that is going, I pray for you today. It is well with you. It is well with your home. It is well with your child. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. God help us all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much once again. And if you are new on this channel and you like what we do on this channel, I want to say, please, if you've not subscribed, kindly subscribe, hit the like button, comment and share. Okay. Thank you so much. Till we meet again on my next video. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.